I've been rocking the Google Pixel as my daily driver for a couple of weeks now and I wanted to show off my setup so I could possibly inspire those who are looking to spice things up a bit. Also, before I show you my setup, I customized the outside of the device with a dbrand skin. I'm a big fan of the new design, having one sheet and wrap the entire device, buttons included, making for an easier installment and cleaner touch. I'll drop a link down below so you can check them out. As for the softwares, I usually go for a more minimalistic setup with not too many widgets or shortcuts on the homepage, as I don't like cluttering up the background and quite possibly draining the battery life with all these widgets running in the background. I'm also using the Pixel Launcher since I love the exclusive animations Google implemented when tapping on the pill or long pressing on an icon to bring up the app shortcuts, but you can still recreate a similar setup on Nova Launcher if you don't own the Google Pixel. I'll drop a link down below to my recommended Nova settings along with all the wallpapers, zipper widgets, and files needed to rock my setup. Let's start off with the main page. As usual, you have the Google search bar at the top, two folders down below, one for the most used Google apps and the other for all of my social media and a dock with all the essentials, phone, messenger, camera, Instagram, and Chrome beta. Where I really make it mine is with this super widget in between my folders. It has three arrows similar to that of the app drawer with the time, temperature, and battery percentage right next to each other. If you tap on an arrow, a large card will pop up displaying more information. When tapping on the time, a social card will pop up displaying a vector image of myself, the date, and a couple of apps at your disposal. The temperature card displays the weather forecast for the next three days in your area and the battery has details of your charging status along with an approximation of how long your battery will last. It also shows you a picture of a graph mimicking the battery history but that's only for decorational purposes. It doesn't actually show you your battery history, kind of a bummer but it's whatever. If you want to create this, make sure you have the Zuper Widget Pro installed or it won't work. Download all four custom Zuper Widget files through the drive link down below. Place those files in your phone's internal storage under Zuper Widget, then Templates. Next, you're going to want to download Pop-Up Widget from the Play Store. Open it up and add three 4x4 Zuper Widgets. This is for the actual cards that will pop up from tapping on the main widgets. From there, place a 3x1 Zuper Widget on the home screen and choose SD card and then Main Widgets. If the weather text just shows question marks, try adding a custom location or changing the weather provider in the global preferences. If everything looks good, tap on layout, then open one, then module on tap, scroll over to the shortcuts, pop up widget and select the first super widget 4x4 card. Do the same for open two and three, but make sure to not select the same super widget 4x4 card. Now tap on the arrows and select the appropriate super widget files for each one and that's it. You now have an insane widget that does a lot, but doesn't take up too much space. The page on the right is very simple yet useful displaying a music widget that works with any music player you have installed. If I play a song off Spotify, it will automatically display the artist's name, track title, album cover in an abstract formation, and media controls. I have it set to open Spotify when I tap on the album cover, but you can choose to have it open whatever app you use to play music right from the widget settings. If you want this amazing music player with so many more to choose from, make sure to download KWGT Custom Widget and Millis widget for KWGT. From there, place a KWGT widget on your home screen and select the music player or widget you prefer. That's all I have on my home screen. Like I said before, I don't like stuffing my homepage with too many widgets and customization is limited on the Pixel Launcher. But if I were to switch over to Nova Launcher, everything would be set up the same way, but I would take it one step further. I would probably use Ango as my main icon pack to have my app drawer follow a materialized look. Each crafted image is colorful, eye-catching, and flat with over 1300 themed icons to choose from. For the folders, I would replace them with colorful dots only found on CandyCon's icon pack. I just think these folders fit in well with Ango. As for the wallpaper, I always grab mine from Backdrops. They have some of the best looking wallpapers I've ever seen with at least one uploaded every day. And for the lock screen, I have Kanye West blessing all of my incoming notifications. Get ready, cause the show's over. That's basically what's on my Google Pixel. I'll leave all the necessary apps and file links right below that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think of my setup and what I should add or remove. Check out andrewpolice.com for your latest and greatest news on Android and I will see you guys in the next one.